Welcome to my channel Tech Tic Tac Toe. Today we will learn about selection sort. We have learned about bubble sort in previous video. Now we will know another sorting algorithm that is selection sort. Selection sort is very easy to understand and easy to implement. Now the selection sort. In selection sort, let this is the array. In selection sort, we will take first this cell not the number only the cell and considering this cell we will compare the other cells with these cells if this is the smallest from other so first we will take this one then this one so this is not smaller than this one so we have to swap it so we have swapped it and other remain same then we have to again take this place considering then next place so this is the next place we have compared with this place previously now we will compare this with this place so this place and this place this is greater than this so it is smaller than this so we have do not have to swap it now this cell again will be compared with this cell so this cell is smaller than this cell so we have to swap it so we have swapped it then this cell is again compared with the last cell so uh, we can see that we are comparing all of the cells with the first cell so this cell contains 14 14 will be compared to this cell which contains 3 but 3 is lesser than less than 14 so <coughs> we have to swap it so 3 will be here and other 14 will be here so here we get the first smallest number in the first iteration so this is our first iteration in the second iteration we will take the second cell so this cell this cell will be compared to the remaining cells so this cell will be compared with this cell then this cell will be compared with this cell this cell is smaller than this so we have to swap it so we have swapped it here this cell is smaller than this so we do not have to swap in this case we have to swap now this cell is compared to this cell so this is smaller than this so we have to swap it so we have swapped it and we get the second smaller element in the array so in the second iteration we get second number second smallest number in this way again in the next step third iteration we will take this cell and compare it with this two cell then we will find the third smaller cell smaller number then we will compare this number with this number and then we will get the fourth fourth number and as this is the last number we will get the final number so this is the logic now let we understand with the code <coughs> for i equal to 0 i less than size minus 1 size is 1 2 3 4 5 so size is 5 size minus 1 is 4 i index of i is less than 4 that means up to 3 0 1 2 3 i will go up to this j for each of the iteration of i j will grow from i plus 1 so if i is this one then it will go from this one to less than size that means 4 this cell so j will go from here to here and then <coughs> if array of i means this one is array of is greater than array of j then we have to swap otherwise we do not have to swap in the first iteration when i equal to 0 we will check i plus 1 that means this j equal to this this is this satisfies this condition that is i array of i is greater than array of array of j is less than array of i that means array of i is greater than array of j so we have to swap temp equal to array of i array of i equal to array of j array of j equal to temp so this is the swapping method <coughs> so in this way we have to swap it now j equal to i plus 1 that means 1 then in the next iteration j equal to 2 so this one 
so i equal to here i equal to 0 and j equal to 2 so these two cells are compared this will not go inside this if condition so it will again go here now i equal to 3 this one this one will be compared to i equal to array of i ith element that means i equal to 0 here so this element will be compared with array of jth element <coughs> that is this one so and this satisfies this if condition so it will go into this and swap this will be swap then again array of i that means array of 0 will be compared with now j is equal to 4 equal to this so this one will be compared with this one then we will swap it this will go into this if condition we have to swap it we have swapped it so we get the first element and remaining are remaining cells are here now in the next next step when i equal to 1 i equal to 1 means this cell this cell in this iteration i always equal to this cell and j equal to i plus 1 that means 2 to 4 so for i equal to 1 j equal to 2 we have to compare it it, are, it is not greater than i of array of j so it will be as it is now we have again j equal to 3 so here i equal to 1 so array of i and array of j array of i is greater than array of j so we have to swap it next iteration j equal to 4 i equal to 1 so array of i will be compared with array of j j equal to 4 so these two and these two this array of j is less than array of i so we have to swap it so we have swapped it so after third step after second step we get the second element now array of i equal to 2 that means this cell this cell <coughs> will be compared with first this cell then we will get 25 32 and 16 then we will get here 25 and here 16 so we have to swap it so we get 16 32 25 in the third step when i equal to 2 and last when i equal to 3 this is the last step i equal to 3 we have to compare with only i plus 1 that means this one and less than size equal to this one so this is the last cell it will go for only j equal to 4 then it will exit from the i so these two have to be swapped then we have swapped it so <coughs> this way we get 25 and this is the last cell so we got 32 is the highest value so this is the final array after sorting I think you all understand time complexity of this is for i equal to 1 2 that means size minus 1 that means n and j equal to i plus 1 to size that means equal to n so it will be n square so for each of the n it will repeat for n times so it the kind complexity is n square i think you all understand if you have some queries or need any detail let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and can share to you with your friends thank you for watching this video